This is called Family Holiday, and uh, I, I stole the song, the riddle song. I gave my love a cherry that has no stone. And that was the sort of the starting point for the song, so it starts out with the riddle song. How can I be a chicken and not go home? How can there be a dinner that has no end? How can there be a Christmas with no pride? I believe in compassion is a lifelong goal. I believe in evolution and self there's good in every member of the human race. There's also such a thing as a hopeless case. <laughs> My mother's views on race, I will not repeat. My brother needs some money, so he's kissing her feet. My uncle picks a fight, and he cries in a it's a jolly combination for holidays. <laughs> and my haircut isn't trendy and my shoes look weird. This outfit is the same one I wore last year. My car needs washing and my jeans don't fit. But I can always mutter who gives a <laughs> the family's like the jungle from whence we came. Survival of the fittest, you're all fair game. A well thought out agenda, a stab in the back. Don't show a sign of weakness, they're sure to attack. <laughs> Lot of time and trouble to get myself here. And now I'm being tortured by pain and fear. Insulting innuendo and blinding rage. And then I die of boredom in the final stage. <laughs> guided visualization. <laughs> Please close your eyes. I'd like you to visualize yourself at the next family gathering. And that person who annoys you so much has finally done it. The last straw. Everything you've ever wanted to say to this person comes out in one magnificent, seamless tirade. Now I'd like you to move your visualization. And now you are standing at the corner of First and Pike in downtown Seattle, delivering your tirade to the passing pedestrians in the traffic. Stamp your foot, shake your fist. And now you can visualization to the family gathering and the next time that person who pushes your buttons goes too far once again picture yourself standing at the corner of first and pike and I'll be standing right next to you <laughs> My 15-year-old cat died.
died the very same day. I needed understanding in the very worst way. And my family were the ones who knew the words to say. Oh, that's such a hard verse. It doesn't fit with the rest of the song. It doesn't fit with the rest of the song. And that's the trouble with reality. It doesn't fit together very well. <laughs> no matter how old you turn out to be, or how many therapists you have to see, your family's still your family, and when times get tough, you know they'll always be there to drive you nuts. <laughs>